Hi Cancer, welcome to your Week Ahead Taroscope with me, Raphael from Radiant Reality. It's an absolute pleasure to have you. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for joining me. If you haven't already, please don't forget to like, share and hit that subscribe button if you should so choose. If you are already a continued subby, thank you so much for all of your continued support. It truly means the world. With that said, if you would like to book a personal tarot reading with me, you can do so on the website address below. If you're not on my mailing list, you will not be getting the monthly newsletter, which is a monthly overview of the tarot it is also exclusive offers that you will only get if you are on that mailing list so keep that in mind you can find the link in the description box i would like to bless all of my decks of cards with all forms of love light peace prosperity and abundance and i pray that the messages that come through are ultimately clear and concise and they help you on your path to your highest vibrational good uh, and of course i should include myself in that because i am as many of you know a cancerian moon sign so let's have a look what are we removing releasing or letting go of from our life path this week what are we removing releasing or letting go of from our life path this week and this week we get the ten of cups right you don't really want to let go of the ten of cups but this for me <clears throat> The Ten of Cups is about material success, right? So when you're letting go of that, it kind of seems to me that what we're actually saying is, you know what, I refuse to let go of that. It's almost like a refusal to have a letting go of card. I kind of feel like we're saying to ourselves, you know what, my dreams are going nowhere. I'm not giving up on anything, they're just evolving. And if I need to take a detour in order to get to where I'm supposed to be, I'm gonna take that detour. So it's almost like we're not really letting go of the Ten of Cups, we're letting go of the idea of how we're supposed to get there. That's the feeling that I get, because in my mind I'm seeing like a twisting road, but it's almost like there's, you know, like on a sat nav, it's going beep, beep, beep. So it's kind of like we know where we're going, it's just about the path that we thought we had to take to get there, only the path is altering this week, and it's being revealed to us that actually, you know what, I can take a different path and still arrive at the place that I would like to be. It doesn't matter, sometimes I can take a detour and still end up where I want to be. I can take the scenic route and still end up where I want to be. So what are we working on now? What is at the heart or at the meat of the matter? And this week we get the sun card. Oh, wow, right? So this is absolutely beautiful because in the 10 of cups, we're saying to ourselves, I trust myself. I trust the path that I'm on. I trust the vision that I hold for my life. I trust this idea of where I'm going. The sun card then comes in to say, right, for that, for that faith, for that trust, for that beauty that you're putting out into the world, for you demonstrate into the world at large, to the universe, to me, to God, whatever you wanna call it, I am gonna show you that your faith is well placed. I'm gonna show you that all of your dreams can come true. And that by digging deep and saying, look, you know what? I'm might not understand exactly where I'm going at this moment in time but I trust that I'm heading towards where I'm all where I was always supposed to be the universe this week is going to step in and say you know what not only am I going to match that I'm going to fucking beat it I'm going to show you just how much that faith has been well placed you give me 10 percent I'm going to give you a hundred I love this I've got goosebumps as I'm talking about it up the side of my head and I'm like okay and I'm a cancer moon so you know I'm really excited to see how this shapes up so let's have a look at the key for the week. Let's take a look what is going on. We got the lover's card, right? This is what came up in the first ever uh, world overview general uh, tarot scope that I did. Now, the key to the week um, with... Uh, the key to the week for Cancerians is basically saying this is about you communicating love, right? This is about you tapping back into that spirit of really delving into what you love, who you love, how you love them, why you love them. And ultimately, the lover's card represents choice. It represents choosing between things, right? So what are you choosing between? You're choosing between complete and utter material success and happiness or total universal blessings that bring you love, light, joy, peace, and prosperity I don't know uh, I'm not entirely sure which one of those I would choose uh, the, the lovers card is basically also a blending energy and it reminds you that you can have all of the above all you need to do is demonstrate enough faith care love and attention in yourself 
and ultimately in the universe. Trust that you will arrive at exactly where you are meant to be at the time you are meant to be there. What an absolutely phenomenal reading. I wish you an abundance of all of that good stuff. Let me know how it shapes up for you and I will do the same. Take care and I will see you very soon for more videos.